Hello fellas, uh, welcome to my um, terrain purchases haul um, video. So I've um, decided to make some terrain. It's going to be um, a small board because I've never made terrain before, but I thought it was about time I gave it a go. So it's going to be um, primarily for doing some skirmishes in Anglo-Saxon England, um, specifically for the period after uh, the time of Arthur, but before the time of the Vikings. So around about 600-ish, something like that. Um, so I've got some miniatures on order for those, so you'll see those when they arrive. So uh, what have I got here? Well, this is just stuff that I've bought either from the local train stop shop um, or from um, the range. Uh, the range is a shop in uh, England, that or Britain, I should say, that um, sells all sorts of stuff at reasonable price as well. So it's not too bad. And then some bits and bobs that I've just picked up off other people. So uh, got some a couple of sheets of uh, foam board. They're going to be for making uh, houses, etc. Um, then a pack of balsa wood, which has got all various sizes there. I don't know whether you can see. So uh, that's going to be for building the um, houses as well. They'll be cross members and various other bits, etc. Um, picked up these from the railway uh, shop. These are just very, very colourful flowery tufts. And I thought that just might make a, a nice change um, on some of the um, scattered terrain uh, or maybe in the woodland just floating around so um, a bit more colourful than normal usually the, the one the tufts that I use are just plain so it's either a white or a red or a yellow but these are nice so I thought I'd give them a go see how they they turn out so that's that polyfiller um, for those of you who might be watching in America this is spackle uh, it's just a basic filler but this is going to do all sorts of um, jobs uh, from rendering houses to uh, covering uh, terrain etc um, so then I've got these which are scouring pads these are going to become thatch roofing on the houses that I'm going to create now the houses I'm going to do are a-frame houses I've done a little bit of research and it seems that the Saxons were still using these and indeed there's some um, some of the uh, museums in England that actually have houses uh, recreated they've um, they've got these these particular a-frame houses on display so the nice thing about the that are doing that is they'll work for the uh, early part of the dark age I'm not so sure so, so sure how they'd be if I was heading towards uh, the Battle of Hastings etc I kind of think that kind of house might have been left behind for um, a more modern look at that time uh, however, they will work very well for um, Germanic tribes in Infamy, Infamy, or indeed any other ancient set that we set of rules that we might happen to play. So that's those. Now, my father-in-law came to the rescue, and he um, is a silver surfer, um, but he uh, has got tons of CDs, just never used them. And he said I could have them. So these are going to be ideal as bases for scattered terrain. So uh, a couple of trees on them, uh, maybe a pond, maybe um, uh, an animal enclosure. I, I'm, I'm sort of just going to be dabbling to see how it goes with, with these. But he's given me quite a few, so that's really good of him. So I've got those. Um, then I'm going to have a go at making my own trees, because trees are quite expensive. So I've got these. These are from Woodland Scenics. Um, there's 12 armatures in there to make trees and um, they're between 5 inches and 7 inches tall so that should do for 28mm I don't know what you can see but they're roughly about that height so yeah that should be alright um, I would prefer to have had a few more different sizes but like I say this is my first time at doing terrain and um, trees etc so go with those um, then I have two different types of clump foliage, both from, um, from
from um, where is it from? Um, oh, Woodland Scenic. Sorry, yep, yeah, both from Woodland Scenic. So I've got a dark green and a medium green. So I can, there's not a massive amount of difference in the trees, but uh, in the uh, the colours. Sorry for the. This is going to be for the trees. So hopefully, though, it, on the on the table, it'll show up a little differently. Um, then I've got three again from Woodland Scenic. So I've got one to three packs of um, static grass uh, this is four mil and um, they're all different colors and what i'm going to do is just mix them up um, to make a um, sort of more interesting uh, color match and um, they'll be uh, used on the board itself and uh, on any scattered terrain etc and then finally uh, we've got uh, Good old bitter chocolate masonry paint. This is dirt cheap from the range. Um, I think it was seven pounds for a two and a half litre tin. I think it is. So this is going to last me ages. So this will be um, the base colour on the board, and then we'll, that will be dry brushed up, and then the the um, scatter. Uh, sorry, the uh, flock will be put on, and then it will also be used on the houses. And scattered terrain etc so that's my little haul and uh, yeah can't wait to get started and see how it goes it's either going to be absolutely superb or a complete nightmare but we'll see anyway hope you're all well take care guys cheers bye